Hey, welcome back. Um, final step then in, in, in preparing this, this guitar neck for uh, being attached to the rest of the guitar, the glue up uh, phase of the, of the build. Um, one thing left to do, and uh, that, that is this. The soundboard will sit face down on the Solera workboard, um, or the, the base from, from which the, the, the actual construction of the guitar will take place. So that sits face down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the neck to the underside of the uh, the soundboard, and, uh, and yeah, that'll be the first thing that we do once we get to to spreading the sticky stuff on. There's one issue that we're going to have, which you may well have already spotted, and that's this: when the the fretboard sits onto the guitar neck, it obviously runs flat along the the surface uh, of the the, the, you know, the top of the neck, and we need to create a pocket just on the underside there for the uh, the soundboard to sit in so that as the neck the fretboard passes over the top of it it will stay perfectly in line so what we're going to need to do is to take our soundboard measure the thickness of it which uh, I have already done and uh, the thickness is three millimeters and we're going to need to remove a sliver of wood three millimeters deep from the upper section as you look at it from this angle the upper section of the heel behind the, uh, the Spanish heel carve, so the, the heel block that extends beyond it back into the body of the guitar, to remove three millimeters all the way around the top to create a step. Uh, that also incidentally includes the, the, the piece of meat that sits in the middle that, uh, that holds the, the front to the back, if, if you like. So that's got to be cut off at three millimeters so that when it sits down on top of the, uh, the back of the at the top of the guitar and on the Solera board it sits down and is then nice and flush so that the fretboard runs over the top of it. Simples. So uh, let's get that done. Not rocket science. Uh, again I've got my Japanese pull sword for accuracy. Did he just it's call marked. it a sword? Um, I, I think he did. it in with a, with a knife so there's a little bit of, of, uh, of a, a groove there just to help me. And I'm going to use the same technique as I did when I cut the slots for the for the sides, which is to eyeball two points, the top line and the line at the back, and uh, just work it through. I have tried um, to do this literally by hand with a, a chisel, uh, being a little bit overconfident, but um, it proved not to be overly successful. So I've actually set the calipers about 0.5 of a millimetre less than the three mil, therefore 2.5. Um, so that when I cut through it allows me a little bit of room just for scrapers and sandpaper to, uh, to tidy it up and a little bit of a sort of gross error check if you like, a little bit of a, of a leeway. Let's get the thing cut, shall we? Obviously being mindful of, of the, uh, the tidy edge here uh, there is a temptation for the saw to start moving saw forward as you as you come down and we don't want to scag the edge of that so uh, mindfulness in all things
than that. So there you go. Um, the I don't know if you can catch it on there, it's pretty obvious what I'm trying to show you. Obviously, it's not perfectly lined up, but uh, from the point of view of, of the depth and the way that the soundboard now fits over the top of the shoe, over the top of the, of the heel block at the back, um, runs along the other side of the fretboard and sits all nicely in place. Cool. Until I get you out of there.